Hi, it's Hal Anderson and Joe Laschiavo from Basquale's Restaurante and Pizzeria at 109 Marion. Joe, great to see you. Good friend of mine for many years. Uh, thanks for checking out Hal's uh, Kitchen. We want to take you on a bit of a tour of Basquale's, uh, but let's talk about your other location on Osborne. When I came in 89, uh, you guys were over there, right? Got it. Well, history of Pasquale's, uh, Hal, uh, started in 1977 on Osborne wow. Street, back on right close by Confusion Corner. Beautiful little spot there. And then we uh, took it over, me and Mama took it over in 1990 yeah. and stayed in that location since 1996 and moved it here to beautiful St. Boniface. And here we stand, right? Great, uh, and, and we're going to talk about your rooftop patio here, but you had a patio over there, right? That was sort of a history thing. Well, here's the history. Pasquale's is known back in the day with previous owners. They started, they had the first al fresco dining, outdoor patio, patio dining, started with Pasquale's yeah. back on the Osborne location. It was a beautiful little outdoor patio with a tree right in the middle of it. Yeah. Uh, we did, uh, we one upped it. We went rooftop and we got beautiful yeah. 50 seats up there away wow. from the noise and away from the dust. And you can sightsee down Marion with all the traffic and people watching all you want. And it's it, fantastic. It, it really is one of the best patios in the city and the in the uh, the view and the venue is is such a big part of that and you know Joe's the guy that's gonna greet you at the door most times as well that's uh, I mean that, how important is that to you uh, to make sure that you're greeting those people as they walk through well the, the great thing about being at the front door in any business Hal it's, it's uh, we've been doing this so long it's like yeah. it's not even like work anymore the people coming to the door are our friends they're part of our family there uh, we uh, we've been blessed to have such a great clientele not mm -hmm. only from the other location but the new yeah. ones here that come to St. Boniface and uh, we've been blessed with uh, and you're right all our friends come in. They want their special table. Yeah. They want their special seat. Yeah. And they just love to be able to come to a, a place where they feel yeah. it's, uh, they're at home. And that's what we want mm -hmm. to supply here at, at Pasquale's. And we've been doing it. You, you mentioned Mama. Now, Mama uh, isn't here uh, helping you every day. But, boy, she's here every day in the form mm -hmm. of her great recipes. Well, you got me and Mama had a deal back in 1990. She said to me as a young 18-year-old boy, you want to open up a restaurant? I said, well, you give me the recipes, Mom. And uh, I, I guarantee you we're going to make a hit because being blessed with eating that every day growing up yeah. as a teenager, we knew it was magic because uh, Mama can uh, make magic out of anything there. So she kind of tricked me though in the beginning because she said, do you want to get in the restaurant business? And I said, well, sure. I said, is there a lot of dough? <laughs> and she said, yeah, there's tons of dough involved. Yeah. And I was thinking, of course, the green one. Right. Mama wasn't forgot to tell me about the white one. That's yeah. The fluffy dough and bread that we make and uh, right. pizza dough we make every day. Yeah. So there is a lot of that. So she kind of tricked me a bit. Kind of tricked but, you a little uh, bit, yeah. But, it did but I think you're doing okay with the green dough, too. <laughs> yeah, it, came, yeah. It, it all worked itself it, it out. All, the white dough turned into, into the green, green dough. It, it all worked out uh, okay. Of course, the mama, because of Mama's great recipes, yes. Yeah. We do, or, I think one of the things to stand us apart from some of the other restaurants in Winnipeg, uh, we do everything from scratch here. We're, yeah. making, we're, we're still going into our roots and we're making everything from hand here. It's hot, it's fresh, it's like, it, and quick. I, it blows me away when I come in how fast you guys take it from, uh, here's what I've ordered, to the kitchen and then back. And as you said, it's fresh, it's hot, it's it's uh, fantastic every time. Well, that all comes down to my great staff that I have too in management yeah. here too. There's a, here it's a, it's another, we don't call it a team. When we hire people here, we call them family. So yeah. we want to come join the family and uh, we're blessed when we find the right people yeah. to come join our family. And uh, it's a great partnership and a great relationship with our, our regulars and our staff here yeah. at the restaurant. So signature dishes, we talked, uh, it would have to be lasagna, uh, your mama's meatballs, right? Which we're going to get to your charity involvement. Yeah. The, the meatballs have made a lot of money for charity we over do something for that every year and it's fantastic yeah, in, yeah, well, in march right yeah well that's uh march meatball management we, we teamed up with silo mission and we do make our meatballs of course from scratch and our own and grandma and mama's recipe there mm -hmm. uh so we just put it a little bit one step further my grandma and my mom being very charitable people back in the day when when they were getting up so we wanted to make sure that we continued it along so uh every march uh people can come in here and purchase uh pasquale's meatballs are, or when you dine in or take home yeah uh, you purchase meatballs we donate uh, how many times did i call and go joe you were meet me at the door with you, the meatballs. I think you were the top contender, Hal. With uh, <laughs> you and me, we have to get a, a special rate yeah. for you next year because right. yes, you were definitely uh, really helped us out with that yeah. fundraiser. And yeah, it, and now with the working with Silo Mission, which is a great organization, Absolutely, and they feed yeah. so many people. We're just blessed to, to be uh, being able to do something for them and be part of their organization. At least it is for one month, and uh, yeah. the meatball drive does very well. well we do, we cut them a check every March for whatever yeah. we sell, the portions of our proceeds. So you, you do the catering, you do the delivery. You we yeah. mentioned the rooftop uh, uh, patio, but we got to talk about that private dining room. Well, what's important with uh, our business, uh, Hal, is uh, serving in the hospitality industry. You need to uh, avenues to get your food out to the public. Yeah. And to, and we do it a couple ways. There is a great dining opportunity here. Uh, our private 25-seat uh, private dining room upstairs for groups is a big hit at Christmas time and graduation time and anniversary time yeah. when people got to get the family together. They don't want to dirty their own house, so yeah. they, you look to restaurants to do that. So, yeah. so our room does very well. Uh, we also do city wide catering 
and uh, in-house chef service also. We'll go right to your house and oh, we'll, cool. we'll go cook right And the meal for replacements I know is getting to be a big deal. The too. big thing, the home meal replacement, you know, people can come in and enjoy Pasquale's uh, in-house. Now you can take it to go. So all of our meatballs, lasagnas, sausage, sauces, all, anything you need yeah. is available for takeout. You can take it home and have it in your freezers. Mm -hmm. Our par baked pizzas are a big hit. So you can have that in your freezer ready to go. For some of the uh, seniors that can't get out as much as they used to, it's always a great yeah. uh, product. Or the busy families with the kids playing hockey and skating and uh, soccer. Uh, uh, it's very important. It's a big part of the industry now where people can get good quality food uh, at a good price and have it ready to go as they're in their doing their busy life. And can they get their hands on the on the Caesar salad dressing as well? Because you bet. You I mean that have. stuff uh, that's uh, that's gold lethal in yeah. a good in a good way. Yeah. I'm surprised you, you well, we sell make, that out the door. We make sure we put our sticker on there and it can't come off the label <laughs> so that people don't try and take credit yeah. for our famous Caesar salad right. dressing. What's your favorite part? What uh, kitchen? greeting the people you're always you know telling a joke and having some fun and it, you know what how the, the great thing and a lot of restaurants know it's a thousand miles an hour this business there's no yeah. rest and yeah you it, it's the versatility yeah we're cooking we're cleaning we're we're pouring drinks we're greeting it's it's the adrenaline i think yeah. of just being involved in a great industry where you mm -hmm. meet get to meet great people yeah. and uh, if i can i think the great thing i like about it how is i get to be uh, well, a lot of people, not saying a lot of families and all that, but you forget about your heritage and where you came from. Yeah. I never get to do that. I, yeah. I get to you be. It every day. I get to be Italian every day with yeah. my music and my yeah. food, and uh, I really, really enjoy that. That yeah. I can still have my heritage, and my kids get to mm -hmm. see that, and my family that we can still be Italian every day. Yeah. And uh, bringing a part of that to to Winnipegers is fantastic. Yeah, Joe, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Hal. Joe at Pasquale's 109 Marion. Check him out, and thanks for checking out House Kitchen. Shall we cheer here? Salute. Cheers.